In the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, just outside Dahlonega, Georgia, more than 100 teens learned leadership and team building skills while having fun and establishing friendships. Team Leadership Summit brings together the children of Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard members for a week of sharing experiences, learning life skills, and building bonds with those who have similar understandings. I feel like the friendships are not only long-lasting, but they're not superficial either. It's a very tight-knit community that you start to form with other teens who've been through the sort of things you've been through. Even though that's not a topic of conversation, you've all sort of grown up in that environment, so you just mesh really well together. All of our parents are, have been deployed like once or twice, and we kind of know the feeling of them being gone for so, for so long. I think we really connect on that level. I'll probably go home with um, new skills achieved. I also have some new bonds, new um, experiences to take away from. Might even get a few people's phone numbers just to like text them and like maybe if they're close enough, hang out with them maybe because we've really get to, gotten to know each other here and become really great friends. One of the goals of the camp is to teach leadership and teamwork. I really think this camp is like very it involves everyone and get makes it really emphasizes on leadership. It brings everyone together to accomplish different tasks or challenges that they may have to overcome. And going to these camps just built on my knowledge of how to be a good leader and how to work with one another even if you have disagreeing personalities or decisions to make. Um, today we did a project with the compass and we had to each um, find um, directions and coordinates and each person got to um, choose the coordinate that they wanted and they led the group to each point and we all had um, a certain spot that we, that we could choose and be a leader. For the Air Force volunteers, being at the Teen Leadership Summit was a chance to teach and also a time to learn. Each of the summits that we have, we have up to 20 volunteers that come in from Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard. With them, they, they, we couldn't do the program without them. Today we talked about one of the uh, things about today is servant leader, putting others first, finding out, empowering those without a voice, empowering those that may be quiet within your group, giving them a voice, those that may need a little bit more help, pushing them to the front. I'm a junior ROTC instructor. And I've seen some activities that are definitely going to be good for my, uh, my first year cadets that I'm going to take is some of the leadership uh, activities that's going to actually enhance our program and our kids. A special guest paid a visit to Camp Wasiga to see firsthand the experiences of reserve and guard teens while stressing how important they are to the Air Force family. They're growing up in communities. A lot of times communities may or may not understand what that military member does. So having this forum where they can come together, um, Louisiana, Florida, and they can understand, hey, there's a teen who's experiencing just what I'm experiencing, same age, we can share, and then I can form a friendship. And that's one of the objectives of the camp is that they form these networks so that they can continue these conversations in the years ahead. For the military volunteers, getting to watch the kids in action gives them great optimism. It's just a huge sense of accomplishment for me to see the next generation coming on behind us. Uh, the kids seem to be really self-governing. Uh, I'm assuming that is, that's because of the military background, but the way they engage, uh, the way they help each other out, uh, encourage one another, is, is it's just a great experience for me. No matter wh where they come from, what their background is, and what color they're ascribed here, they have leadership abilities, and that's the future of of our military, it's the future of the Air Force, it's gonna be great. Chief Master Sergeant Edward Walden, the service's career field manager for the Air National Guard, was the guest speaker for the closing assembly. Reporting from Dahlonega, Georgia, for Air Force Reserve Command, I'm Air Force Sergeant Chance Babin.